Hey guys, this is Henry coming at you with a follow-up video to my last week's um, where we unboxed the phone coat. Uh, today we're actually going to be testing its impact protection uh, claim to see how it actually holds up. Uh, we've got the um, Samsung Galaxy Note 2 here. Uh, it was a good phone. It's it's no longer actually turns on, but the screen is intact. So I've gone ahead and placed the uh, phone coat on this here. Um, we're also going to be testing... Uh, my uh, BlackBerry Q10 which has a tempered glass screen protector we're gonna see how that fares as well and then I have a Nokia 900 here uh, with no screen protector on there just a just a Gorilla Glass um, so let's without further ado let's go ahead and get started um, the tempered glass is first uh, the idea behind tempered glass is that uh, it's scratch resistant and of course it is good for impact protection with I've seen in my experience one good hit. Um, so let's go ahead and test that out here. Um, we're going to start with a rock, just a nice little rock that I found outside. So let's go ahead and check that out. Tempered glass test. Let's do about three inch drop. And tempered glass is good. Nothing. Maybe just a little nick on the scratch there, but nothing. And this is a solid tempered glass, right? So we're good to go on that one. Let's do about six inch drop now. And that did nothing. I swear I thought I saw a crack on there. BlackBerry Q10 still going. This one actually does turn on still. It's, it's a solid phone with a great keyboard. Um, if BlackBerry could come out with this one again, I would totally get it with the uh, track, uh, the touch thing, and the fingerprint. That would be amazing. It's a perfect size. But let's go ahead and try again here. Ready? Let's go ahead and start with... All right, so this one we're going to start with, uh, so we did three, six, let's do about a foot now. And nothing, this thing is actually holding up, it's amazing. Uh, this rock might actually not be as heavy either, so. All right, guys, so I've gone ahead and gotten a bigger rock here. This one doesn't seem to be doing much from a foot at that. So let's go ahead and start with this bigger one. We'll start about three inches again with the tempered glass test one. That was a big hit, and that would have scared me if this was my daily driver, but nothing right now. So let's go ahead and go with uh, six inches off. No damage again. This is really awesome, and another testament to why people love their tempered glass. Um, so let's go ahead and go with the foot now, and we'll, we'll set her up from there. And no drop is one. No hits. Wow, that is that is awesome, guys. Tempered glass for the win. Now we know. Now, let's do a hammer test. Let's see what tempered glass can do against a hammer. So we're going to go with a pretty quick, swift impact hit. Just one small one. Then we'll go higher and do another one. So let's do this. No broken screen at all, either. So that's solid. Let's go ahead and do another harder one. And this, this time we'll do a larger swing as well. Just did two for good measure. Tempered glass, guys. That's the way to go right now. Now, again, against real world in concrete, this might be a little bit different. But the fact that it can take slams from rocks at different heights, a slam from a hammer, that tells you something right there, right, guys? So next, we're going to test the phone coat and see if it, if it can keep up with the tempered glass or maybe it surprises us as well. Um, again, the... The Note 2 did have Gorilla Glass as well from back in the day, so let's go ahead and test it with the small rock. We're going to go ahead and go from here, 3 inches, nothing, solid. 6 inches, nothing, solid. Let's go from a foot. And one thing Impact, or films have, I should say, versus glass, is that they do leave nicks, right? So they're 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 not as smooth. They can scratch up, but over time they heal themselves. So now let's try with the bigger rock. Let's go again for three inches. Nothing solid. Six inches. Oh, that sounded like it hurt, but nothing as well. Now let's do a foot. Ready? Good lord. And nothing. All right. So so far, the uh, the impact uh, protection does seem to be it's doing its job. Let's test it with a hammer. Yeah. 
here we go. Start off with a quick one. Nothing. Let's go a swift one. Nothing, guys. This is actually holding up really, really well. You do see uh, these smudges kind of just go away quickly. But other than that... I mean, as of right now, it's holding up. Yeah, guys, call me sold on this. Actually, in uh, closer inspection, I do see that the phone has cracked a little bit. Um, so maybe the uh, phone code isn't the best bet. But um, let's see if we can get the light here to shine. Let's try to do some more damage before we go any further. Let's just hit this a few more times, right guys? Might as well, yeah? And again, this isn't something that you're gonna be doing on a daily basis to your phones, but just to show you the phone coat coming off. And I saw a video comment that from the company phone code mm -hmm. saying that they're working on a second version of the phone code that should be able to uh, to impact uh, absorb impact even more so but if you look at it right here guys if you look at it right here you'll see the the phone is cracked so the phone code essentially did not do its job as far as impact protection again uh, no normal usage will be like this but you, you'll see that there and of course the um, the tempered glass did hold up way better. Now, with that said, we have the Nokia. And the Nokia is a solid phone for what it was. Um, but we just want to see how quickly and dangerously some, some good falls are. So let's go ahead and test this one out as well. So we're going to test it with just a small rock at three inches. Nothing. Six inches. Good God. Nothing. And one foot. Nothing. That's awesome. We're going to test it with a bigger rock. Three inches. Yeah. That was a hard hit. Nothing. Nothing, guys. Nokia, man. They made solid phones. Six inches. Nothing at all. So let's do, um, let's go ahead and do our foot test now. Nothing, guys. Now, um, for the sake of future tests, I'm going to go ahead and hold off on damaging the Nokia any further um, and keep it for, uh, for future durability tests. But as of right now, you see that the phone coat essentially was a no-go in, in protecting the, the Samsung. Um, it cracked, it looked like internally versus the actual glass, but that may have been the pressure. But in either way, it, it didn't hold up. The tempered glass seems to be uh, the way to go for these guys. Now, for my Nintendo Switch here, I've gone ahead and purchased a Rhino Shield. Um, if you guys want to see what Rhino Shield can do, there are some good videos uh, there from Unbox Therapy, some uh, some good tests that they did. Uh, if you guys want to see me test that out, just go ahead and let me know. Um, other than that, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.